Hey, what's up, everybody? You're watching the Sit Down. I'm DJ Sixsmith. Hawaii Five O coming to an end. Peter Lenkoff is here with us, executive producer. Peter, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank I'm you. Sure, I'm sure it's an interesting time for you because it's been a great run on Hawaii Five O, and you know it's really difficult to create good TV. So, what's this run been like for you? It's that's it's a that's a, a difficult question. I mean, I I tell people all the time that, um, and I've been doing this for a long time. I'll never have this a good experience, this kind of experience again. I think that when we went to shoot in Hawaii, the entire community there, it's a you know it's an island of a million people, um, and everybody was rooting for us to succeed. So it felt like we were embraced from the get go, and people were. Um, you know, were supporting us and wanted us to succeed. And um, so there was a little bit of that pressure, but I felt like I had, a, you know, I had the support of an entire community, that entire island, uh, seeing uh, us um, get to 240 episodes. And uh, I've never had experience like that before. I'm starting to feel that on Magnum, um, but it was very special, it was very magical. Had you been to Hawaii prior? Yeah, I've been to, I, I was there many, many times. I spent a lot of time in Hawaii before the show. Um, and that really was inspired by the original show because I always wanted to go to Hawaii based on my dad's love of the original 68 um, version of the show. So what have been some of the big challenges for you? Because like you said, the 68 version was so popular, but you guys have created something that has stood the test of time these nine seasons. So what has it been like for you guys? Um, big challenges. I think just, you know, there's so much more competition these days. It's, um, really, uh, building, you know, building out our characters and making them, um, people that you want to visit each week. Um, you know, 10 years, 240 episodes, that's a, a lot of television. Um, and I like to think that the two things that really got us there were our, was location, which was Hawaii which is same as the original was such a big draw. And then our casting choices. I think we, our characters, uh, our actors were very strong and people um, followed them week to week and, uh, and followed them clearly for 240 hours of television because I think they were so strong. And there were people that had been on other TV shows before that we had seen in other things, but when did you feel like you guys had a good hold on Y50 in this iteration with, these characters well i don't know if i ever had a feeling like i i had a uh, hold, hold of anything i always felt like every episode we tried to do better so i think for 240 episodes for 10 years every episode i i tried to make the next one better than the last one so um i don't know if i ever took anything for granted or felt like i had a hold on anything um i just always felt you know we'll do, you know, we'll keep, you know, building our fan base and we'll keep doing better with each episode. You mentioned how special it was to be in Hawaii with those people. Do you have any special stories you can think of off the top of your head, just about some amazing things away from the set or with some of the people there on the island? I, I think that uh, unlike other experiences that I had, this, the whole crew, um, uh, the cast and crew, they, they be, you know, they're family. They're people you spend a lot of time with after the camera stops rolling and, you know, I made a lot of close friends there, um, and uh, it really felt like we were all um, one big family. Uh, it, we felt like it was one big family business. Um, so every experience, whether it was on set or off set, was very special. What would surprise people the most about this experience, whether it's creating 240 episodes, whether it's filming in Hawaii, anything pops to mind for you? Sorry, what was that again? Just the I biggest surprise. Thing went out for a second. Yeah, the biggest, biggest surprise. surprise. Yeah. The fact that we're on the air for 10 years. I, whoever, you know, when you do a reboot of a show, the odds are in his story, if you look at history, these things don't last more than a couple of years. I think the fact that we lasted 10 years is probably the biggest surprise to me. But that's really on account of everybody's like incredible work. I mean, everybody did such a great job. Um, and, you know, again, like I said, it was a family business. Everybody wanted this thing to continue and, and um, never took it for granted. 
How about with Magnum PI? I mean, that's been a great run so far. What's been most rewarding? The fact that we could do two shows successfully in Hawaii, there was enough crew there to make that work. Um, uh, and, and, and the most rewarding probably is being able to employ more, you know, people um, there. And I think for me, giving back to that community, leaving a good footprint behind, that's been very important to me since the beginning. So you have another Hawaii-based show, but walking away from Hawaii Five O must have been a big deal for you. So what are you going to miss the most about these people and this show? Well, you know, when I, wa when I watched the first cut, the first assembly of the finale, I, w I was bawling at the end because I felt like I was saying goodbye to very, very close friends. I know that they're, you know, they're playing characters, but I've lived and breathed these people for 10 years. So it's really going to be hard not writing for them, not telling more stories for them, seeing them uh, age and evolve. Um, as a writer, I'm going to miss that. When you think about the TV landscape, you've been in TV for a long time. What do you think is most important in terms of getting a show to cut through with all the competition these days? I, I, I learned this very early on. People tune in for characters. Uh, that's what you got to focus on. Um, it's very hard for people, you know, when they recount their favorite shows i don't think they talk about plot they talk about the, you know the characters and what the characters are doing or what they did and i think that's always been the key to at least you know my success in anything i've done is i always put characters first for people who have been on the ride with you guys all these episodes what do you want them to be thinking about for the finale this week I'd like them to be thinking about uh, a couple things. I mean, one is uh, how much we, if you look at the original show, there's a lot of Easter eggs in there um, that go back to that finale um, from the original show. That show lasted 12 years. Uh, but the finale, uh, there's some um, elements that are in our finale. I also would love them to sort of look at the pilot of our 5 and the end episode as really bookends. They really do complement each other. There's a lot of sort of payoff to the McGarrett-Danny relationship because if you, if, you, if you know that the first show, I mean, those guys started off with great conflict. They hated each other and the finale really shows how far they've come as a, as a partnership. Um, so there's a number of things. Well, we're all looking forward to checking it out, Peter. Thanks so much for joining us and uh, best luck with everything going forward. Thank you. Thank you.